welcome to another XD tutorial. Yesterday, Apple announced the Apple Card, and I'm gonna try to replicate this Apple Card UI here today. I started by picking out all the colors in this picture, and in this image, and uh, also some fonts. I know that this Proxima Soft is not the font that Apple uses, but it, it's similar, so I'm gonna use that today. If you don't, if you have Adobe, you can download Proxima Soft from Adobe Fonts. And to pick out the colors, I just used this tool that I have, which is called Contrast to, to check accessibility. So I just do the picker and I pick on a color anywhere and I get the, the hex numbers. So that's how I came up with these colors. So let's start out by adding a background. We seem to have this grayish thing and then let's do the headline it says March 18th to 24th March 18th to 24 and it is black and it is probably 40 not 40 that was too big it's probably 35 30 March okay and here you can actually in XD put on a grid because I'm gonna draw this card and I think they have 10 pixels on each side so I'm just gonna draw up this card here with 10 pixels on each side to follow the grid and I think they have a radius of six, no border. And then if you select the, the heading up here, you can remove the layout grid again. Okay, now let's do this total spending. I copy this because I think it's San Francisco as well. And I would say it's not bold and it's 16 and total spending total spending and uh, they have it in a gray i'm gonna use 76 76 76 because i know that that is the for accessibility this is the least black you can have and it still be accessible i think this is actually lighter because apple doesn't really care about visual uh, accessibility yet anyway uh, i can also see just by looking at these that none of them is accessible to white so they don't they don't have the contrast but that's another tutorial so now we have done this let's do the sum here i'm gonna use euro instead because i'm in europe 749.67 and they have this i like i said i don't know the font but i'm gonna use the proxima soft and semi bold let's do that 40 then That is probably a bit too big. Let's do that 35. Okay. Totally black is what they use. And then they have this little down arrow and next to it it says 8%. So I'm just gonna copy this and say 8%. Put it next to that and then zoom in a little bit to make that little down arrow. I guess it says that you spent 8% less than last month or week or something. Okay, a black circle and inside the circle let's do an arrow with with rounded edges and round in the middle. Okay, center it and then a line in the middle with rounded edges. And I think 
this is very small but i think it's a little bit fatter apple usually has 1.5 maybe and then turn it white and group that okay zoom out again so now let's move this a bit away like that now we're going to do the graph so one two three four five lines start with that up here and they are like that let's make it some light gray that apple probably uses repeat grid up here pull it down one two three four five and do that looks good and then i'll copy this again put it up here and it says euro 100 that was too big so let's do that 11 maybe too small oh, that's fine and repeat grid again and they have it on every other line so let's do it like that all right and then change this to 50 and this to zero and copy that one and move it out here and it says monday and then repeat grid again but this time sideways monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday yep that looks That looks fine. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday and Sunday. Right. Then let's do that. The bars of first one. So again, four, four, zero, zero, no border. And in the fill, you can choose line, linear gradient. And at the top, we want this to be blue. And sorry, at the bottom, we want this to be green. And at the top, we want this to be blue. And then we just repeat grid again. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And move it and align it uh, probably yep but then you have to ungroup the grid because otherwise you won't be able to move one of these then they'll if you still have a group all of them will change when you change one so let's drag that one down this one is it down as well this one is lower this one is to the top this one is the lowest and this one is up there okay and now let's change the color so back here this one is green at the top which is this one and it's yellow at the bottom the next one is yellow at the top and orange at the bottom next one is blue at the top like this one is but the green is yellow and this one is yellow at the top and orange at the bottom this one is blue and green and this one is green at the top and yellow at the bottom Okay, there we have it. This first part is done. Now let's move to this one. Let's just copy this card, drag it down a bit. And I think they have 10 pixels between each. Uh, like that. Draw a square. The 
corner radius put it to six and it's all black and inside there's a dollar sign so again i'm in europe so i'm gonna do the euro sign white this of course is some icons i'm not gonna draw them but i'm just gonna do this for now okay daily cash 17 transactions and the sum here so i'm gonna copy this text drag it down here and copy it again so this says 17 transactions and that is probably not 16 but 12 maybe 14 and this one is probably 16 but it's bold and it's completely black and it says daily cash and then the sum over here is regular and euro 221.98 and then there's a small arrow to zoom in and draw a small arrow Rounded corners. And ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Right, that's a bit less grey. Maybe one, three. Okay. Now we're getting closer. Let's copy this one, drag it down that and that is probably 20 copy and paste it over here and it says show merchants is probably 16 and not bold but regular and this blue color right let's do the last bit copy and paste this one 10 pixels down 9 10 and drag the background all the way down this doesn't matter because we will put this over over it and uh, then draw a little line from here to here and do it like gray and then repeat grid so three times three times let's change and then we have to ungroup because we have to change the color of this Right, we change this to yellow and this one to the orange. I'm not gonna change the icons here because, yeah. Uh, it says shopping. And they spend 221. Oh, this doesn't say 221. This says 14.99. And this says 159 I'm just going to do exactly what it says here shopping four transactions and this one has six transactions and it says food food right now it's now we're getting closer let's just take this while we're at it copy 
and paste this text it goes up there and then we can just copy this arrow and drag it up here align it with that one rotate it make it a little bit bigger make it the blue color and a bit thicker and align everything of course there we go now it's the last one this part so we draw a square tool and no border and here I just take the pipette tool and I find the same color I draw a little line and make it a bit less gray and drag it down top of this I seem to have that there and then just take this copy and paste it drag it down looks a bit smaller so this is not 16 but probably 14 and it says February balance and this says 1000 1250 point 51 and it's a bit smaller so let's do that 25 no, let's do it 30 all right and then this last pay button so let's just draw a circle that is same height as both of those drag it over here make it all black and type pay but in San Francisco and maybe 16 14 make it white and align it to center okay a bit off center and there we have it So this is uh, that tutorial for the Adobe XD and uh, Apple Card UI. I hope you liked it. If you did, press the like button and subscribe for more XD tutorials. Thank you.